everyone welcome back to vedantu malayalam channel i'm sana khan your maths master teacher and today i have brought for you a very special session for your keem 2023 preparation well guys basically what happens that when you are preparing for a competitive exam you have so much to study right now when we have so much to study it is very difficult to remember so much right so how can we basically keep everything in our mind sometimes we forget the formula sometimes we forget the concept sometimes we forget the relationship between the formula and the concept so to avoid all such problem there is one single very good solution do you know what is that well welcome to the mineral kim series where today we are going to see how to make mind map and how to use this technique for effective memorization of concepts okay now basically um what is mind map and how can you use it for your effective study let's see that but before don't forget to subscribe to the channel because if you are new here then you should subscribe quickly otherwise you will miss out so many amazing important marathon series and tips and tricks studies coming for you guys for your keen 2023 preparation okay also don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy our lectures come on let's start with how can mind maps help us and what are they basically so mind map is just like a rough diagram we make which basically uh, tells us very very smartly or in a very crisp and brief manner that what all things have we learned how are they related to each other okay now how does it help us so it basically simplifies the information given okay next it gives a structure and it helps you categorize things that okay this is related to that topic that is related to this topic for example in maths what happens you know sometimes uh, students get confused when a question comes like can every square be called as a rectangle can every parallelogram be called as a trapezium and they are like hey, uh, uh, how do we answer this question we remember the property of what but if you make a mind map of it if you make the flow chart that okay trapezium comes at the top then trapezium has a sun named as parallelogram parallelogram has three suns named as square rectangles and rhombus then you clearly know that okay every rhombus is a parallelogram but every parallelogram is not a rhombus so it becomes so easy to answer once we have that mind map in our mind right so this tree structure of mind maps basically connects all the informations together and gives you complete idea of the complete chapter in one single page sometimes right so if not entire chapter but at least the complete summary of the topic is available right so how do you make a mind map at this time which is super helpful for you for, to retain the concepts in your mind so basically mind map it usually starts with a center topic and it branches outwards now do you have to make a square box do you have to make an arrow no make anything make a flow chart or you can simply make different different boxes to denote that this is a formula box this is a concept box you can use different different colors images icons to make it as much as a visual memory why visual memory because you know anything you look and learn basically retains in your mind for a longer period than you hear and learn okay so visual memory is stronger than hearing memory generally so that's why we are visualizing all the concepts okay so what do you have to do step number 1 define the central topic first so suppose that you are learning about matrix and you want to remember that in the matrix chapter what all formulas do i have so in the minnal keem series also i am giving you mind maps and formula sheet sheets of every chapter so do watch those series as well they will be helpful to you okay so first of all we basically define the central topic that what are we learning about what we are learning and then we start using branches of the main topic for example suppose you have learned about matrix now you can make a flow chart that in matrix you are going to learn about addition of matrix multiplication of matrix division of matrix or subtraction of matrix maybe you can make a separate flow chart all together that 
inside matrix itself apart from addition multiplication you also have adjoint of matrix inverse of matrix determinant of matrix then to find out determinant you can write down the complete formula that how determinant uh, inverse and all they are related to each other so basically once you make this flow chart everything becomes more clear to you and you basically understand that only these are the things i have learned in this chapter and only these are the things important my and you will get a complete relaxation that okay apart from this i don't have to do what otherwise what happens is your mind keeps thinking uh, was there any other formula apart from this am i leaving any topic is there anything else i have to study so that confusion basically wastes your time a lot so we don't want that and therefore we'll draw a main topic and we'll start branching it out okay now create level wise topic now what is level wise topic suppose inside matrix first you have order of matrix you have types of matrix after types of matrix you have basically operations of matrix now in operations of matrix you have multiplication addition and division of matrix so like this you are basically basic creating levels that these are the main topics inside main topics these are the sub topics so once you know that inside order of matrix you don't have to learn anything else there is one formula there is this second formula that's it so this becomes level 1 this becomes level 2 and now you have a clear picture in your mind that these are the two formulas inside order of matrix now similarly level 3 will be like addition formulas multiplication formulas that will go in level 3 okay now add some branches for details now most of the time it will be like every time you will not have levels sometimes you will need like for example just now we have seen that we have addition multiplication subtraction of matrix but in addition of matrix you have properties commutative property associative property identity property so for listing out property you are not going to make level you will simply write down the property here commutative property here associative property here additive identity property so like this you will get basically details that these are the properties i have learned for addition of a matrix so you made the sub branches now expand your branches if you need more do not expand if you do not need more for example types of matrices you have learned now after row matrix do you need to learn anything else no but for example in types of matrix you have drawn singular matrix well, now you you have learned chapter of determinants and now you know oh singular matrix has determinant zero so now you will make you will expand your branch like this ki i have learned something extra that apart from these types of matrix there is a matrix called as singular which has determinant zero so you mention it here so it, when you go for exam you look at this mind map this will be like an extra topic that you have learned and you will remember it that okay whenever singular is asked determinant is zero so like that you are able to relate all the concepts okay next is add images if possible so image addition basically again enhances your visual memory and like that you will be able to remember it more properly for example if you just try that um let's see uh, let's say ki what is a row matrix so you just remember it like it's it has a row, uh, only one row then in the exam you might get confused that row matrix has one row or one column because sometimes the names are not given according to the concept now they will give random names or they will uh, give twisted names like that but if you have an image so you will clearly remember that oh i remember that i have drawn it like this a b c so it means that only one row if you have this image you will remember column matrix is only one column so theory you may forget but image you will never forget so always try to draw images write formulas draw them in a box so that you visualize it that it looks like this and you will remember it okay next is utilize colors as well now what kind of color so generally you might have seen that if i want to write something different so suppose i have written incorporate colors now i want to 
highlight color so what can i do i can use yellow color of, for this then what i generally do you might have seen that when i want to write something different or uh, in the same line i want to write the final answer so i write it with green color just to highlight it so that it looks stands out so similarly if you have a concept a formula that you want to strongly remember that all, i always forget this formula i have to remember for example if you write a inverse is determinant of a into adjoint of a now whenever you calculate a inverse you remember adjoint of a but you always forget determinant of a so what you can do is you can simply use a different color and you can write it with like this so whenever you will look at this formula this will stand out and once it will stand out you will be able to remember it definitely right okay so use images use colors use branches so basically try to incorporate maximum information in your mind map so that when you look at it you get complete idea of the chapter or complete idea of the topic and then you will have basically uh, a good relation between the topics you will be able to remember that this topic had only these many formula so in the exam you won't be like have i studied this or is there any other formula apart from this so you'll have a complete image in your mind in your exam that only these three formulas you have learned or only these three topics you have learned okay next try to use some keywords and triggers as well why because again so uh, for example again you are not able to remember some things so sometimes you will have shortcuts for example in trigonometry if you don't remember the sign you have a shortcut all sugar tea cups it says that all trigonometric ratios have positive sign in the first quadrant sin has positive sign in the second quadrant tan has positive sign in the third quadrant and cot uh, cos has positive sign in the fourth quadrant so this is a shortcut so you can use a keyword for it like all sugar tea cups or add sugar uh, to coffee so anything that you remember you just write it down so it will be like a trigger for you it will be like a keyword for you and you'll remember it will, it is like a mnemonics for you okay so um, again try to use these keywords which will uh, trigger your memory in the exam that okay you have to remember this and you have to basically do it like this for example sometimes students get confused between sign so you can use you can make your own keyword for sign also in matrix also you when you find out determinant you have to follow sign that it is plus minus plus it is minus plus minus so use a certain keyword for that so that you remember it in the exam okay next is use connections and associations now why is that important basically if a topic is related to some other topic you will have to basically connect that again it will help you retain it for a longer time also if you use different type of connectors so for sometimes you use arrow arrow denotes that again i am taking an example of quadrilaterals so suppose you uh, draw it with an arrow that trapezium comes at the top then parallelogram comes next so you will always remember that parallelogram is kind of a trapezium because it is derived from trapezium at the top i have trapezium then the arrow is going down and it is becoming a parallelogram so this image this connector is basically helping you associate trapezium with a parallelogram it is also helping you remember that every parallelogram is a trapezium but every trapezium is not a parallelogram so like this only the connectors are also very very important so uh, always the flow should be maintained like that the arrow should be maintained according okay next use examples and illustration i will call this as the most 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 important tip whenever you are making a mind map always use examples always give example for that particular topic i told you that if you do not write an example that uh, the row matrix looks like this 
Suppose you have written row matrix is 1, 2, 3. This is an example and you will remember. Now, suppose we have learned set builder form and roster builder form in sets. In exam, you forget set builder form was this or roster was this. But if you write an example, for example, when you're writing set builder form, you mention that A set is looking like this, where it is having some elements. Then roster, roster form, you remember that it was written uh, like this. So in the exam, you will automatically, okay, the set builder form was like this, roster form was like this. So I should, I should basically not get confused between them and you will automatically be able to answer it correctly. So examples always helps us understand better and remember it better. So this is definitely most important. All right. So guys, always remember to review your notes, revise your notes. Customize your mind maps according to yourself and practice active engagement. Whenever you feel that study is boring, you are basically not able to concentrate on the topic or the topic is looking too lengthy for you, just try to make it active engagement learning. And what is actively engaging in the learning? Making mind maps, making flowcharts, diagrams, examples. You are actively involving your brain in not just understanding the topic, but also helping it retain it for a longer time. You are basically actively involving your brain in... Uh, it's like he, nobody is forcing you to do it. You are doing it on your own. So you feel happy about it and automatically you learn it better. Okay. So yes. Conquer your fears every day because these last days are very, very important for your KEEM exam. So wishing you success in your exam and I am sure you are going to rock it. So come on. These are the final days. We have to give our best. We have to do everything we can till the end so that we get the maximum out. Put. right guys so that's all for the day do make mind maps of the chapters which are difficult to remember especially for chemistry physics maths formulas mind maps are very good things to help you retain it in your memory all right so thank you for watching today's video hope you liked it do hit the like button if you enjoyed and Subscribe to the channel for more videos. The marathon series, the Minnal Kim series is going on. Don't miss out any lecture. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.